What's going on everyone today we're going to be watching reacting to American Horror Story season 9 episode 4 which is titled True Killers. So last episode went kind of crazy at the end there. I mean they revealed that oh no I'm forgetting her name. What is her name? Not Brooke. The other girl. Oh no I forget but you know who I'm talking about. She is working with the Night Stalker or at least she's seems like she's dating him. I don't know she w wants Brooke to be killed it seems like that's what she said. She was like why isn't she dead yet? Was she, I guess she could be talking about Margaret maybe but I assume she was talking about Brooke. I don't know. Um, don't know what she has against Brooke but I guess we'll find out. And then obviously Ray got his head chopped off. So that was that was pretty crazy. And we learned that Rita or her name's not Rita but I hope they say her name this episode because I don't know what her real name is. I forget it. But uh, the fake Rita, she uh, not actually Rita, and she's actually trying to do this whole experiment of some sort where she's trying to like learn more about Mr. Jingles, and her best way of doing that is by letting him kill people in the camp. So I, I don't, a lot of stuff going on. Let's just get it started. If you want to see the full account reaction, that'll be my Patreon the link. That'll be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Then, flashback, another great song. Every possible solid song they can think of, they have put into the season so far. Like, <laughs> every good song from the 70s and 80s. I guess this flashback's gonna show us why exactly she's going after Brooke. Night Stalker's watching. Is he gonna be stalking her, and then for some reason she's gonna like that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Was that a gun yet on him? No, he's got a knife on him, though. Rambo. Rambo. This is aerobics. It's serious. Billy Idol's the truth, man. I'm training. You gotta stay ready. Montana, let's do this metal shit. I'm trying to get shredded. Okay. Oh, yeah, Montana's her name. Yeah, okay. This is a good... This is a fun song. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. This dude's gonna be stalking you more. But we know how it's gonna end, so... Oh, damn. Suck it, Rod. Suck it hard. You like my surprise. He did it for her. Oh, I didn't damn. I like how we talked to you. And she's going to start kissing him. Thing anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> but she likes it. I mean, yeah, there was something up with her, for sure. I didn't see it, but I, I can see it now in retrospect. <laughs> I told, oh, 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 not the blood. Have you killed a lot of people? Hmm. Would you kill me? <sighs> no. Oh, shit. Would you kill for me? What does she have against, Bro I, I gotta know what she has against Brooke. Who's this girl? <laughs> she took away the only thing I ever cared about. What? My brother. Oh, that was her brother. Well, I sh it wasn't her fault. Joey was his roommate in college in Florida. I never even knew the guy or Brooke. But I know Brooke fucked my brother and lied. But she didn't. Oh, my God. Why does she get to live when he's gone? I had a feeling it was going to involve that backstory in some way. She won't see any more sunrises after I find her. Some fucked up people. <laughs> But that's that's what this show's all about. Fucked up people. You need to get your shit together. There's another killer running around, and if we don't. Why don't do you do it yourself you then? If you... Jingles. The Mr. Jingles. He sliced up two guys right in front of me. We need to get to Brooke first. Yeah, she wasn't expecting that. Two guys. At the same time, is he a ninja? Like... <laughs> you need to focus. That bitch has gotta pay for what she's done. Yeah, she didn't do anything. I like how we now have, so Montana, the Night Stalker, Mr. Jangles, possibly Margaret. I don't know. Margaret Salus. Uh, she's an uncertain one at this point. And the fake Rita. Those are all the villains, I guess. Everyone else seems to be good. Trevor knows right? what he's doing. <laughs> Trevor does not know. I like these three guys. I really hope these three guys c continue being good dudes and they don't turn out to be terrible. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? It's epinephrine it, for like peanut allergies and shit. It's, it's like pure adrenaline. Are you sure it's gonna work? It might it's help. It's not gonna make them worse. Unless he's allergic to peanuts. Wait, wait I'm so fucking stupid. What am I? 
<laughs> Did I actually just say that? <laughs> oh! Oh, oh. We need to play Montana to get here, but the cops now. <laughs> Ray's dead. Montana's evil, so no, you don't need him. You don't need him. The cops are looking for him. He told me he killed someone in college. <sighs> I thought making porn was bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Porn! Blake! The guy with the spike through his eye! What about he him? He drove here in his Cadillac. Oh. It's parked right by the showers. We have a way out. Okay, okay, let's grab Margaret and Bertie and, and then we'll head to the car. I don't know where the hell Margaret and Bertie are. I'll go get Bertie. I'll get Margaret. Oh no, I mean, I get why they're splitting up here, but it's obviously not good. Well, she's not even gonna be surprised about that. I totally forgot we had the goddamn, the ghost guy. Where is he? He was just there for like an episode or two and he just disappeared. Jingles did this? Come on, we have to get the fuck out of here. Come on, there's a car by the showers. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Did you hear what I just said? There is a school bus full of eager campers coming here at sunrise. And oh they will my be perfectly God. safe. She's so loony. <laughs> okay, Margaret. You know, I I'm going to go back to the real world now. <laughs> Dude, I, I like Trevor a lot. He's, he's chill. Do you have any idea what's happening here? Yeah, I'm making sandwiches. Kids will be here in a couple of hours. They're going to be suffering from acute homesickness, and nothing cures acute homesickness like a bologna sandwich. You don't understand. I think bologna's disgusting. What is it about this place that makes everybody see the boogeyman? Calm down. <laughs> take a breath. Just, why can't anyone just have some trust, you know? Damn. Oh, I don't think it's him. Oh, maybe it is? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Some tells me Birdie's about to get killed. Benjamin, what are you doing here? I, I didn't know they let you out. They didn't. <laughs> All the same, it's nice to see him at Canteen again. I guess she knows him because he used to work there, right? I guess she probably, I guess if she worked there all the way back, back when he was working there. Is he not going to kill her because he knows her? I don't know. Maybe he's not pure evil, but he's definitely evil. No, he is pure evil. What am I talking about? He just has his moments of like, you know. He doesn't kill everything he sees. 99% evil. Let's 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 put it at that. Why'd you come back? When Margaret told me she was reopening this place, I thought she'd lost her mind. I mean, who the hell wants to relive that night? And then it hit me. She was still living it. That horrible past was her prison. And if mm -hmm. coming back here is what she needs to finally turn the page, I wanted to be there for her. That's nice of you. If he had a weapon, he could, like, kill him right now, but he does not have a weapon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Grab the knife, girl. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Oh, my God. Or is she going to get a... Oh, oh. A mallet? You should have grabbed the knife. Damn. Oh. The oven set to broil? Why did you have to cook her? Oh my god, no, he put it hit. No. Is he just gonna die then? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I thought the I thought Birdie was in there. Oh shit. I hope he doesn't die. I like his character. I mean, we're losing a lot of characters, so I feel like... I mean, I guess... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I guess we're almost halfway through the season. Please watch where you're running. There's traps out here. Oh, oh, trap! Oh my god! Oh, that's just what I was saying. Oh my god. Damn! Yeah, I'm assuming Mr. Jingles set these up because he was in the Vietnam War and these, these seem like the type of traps they would set up in the Vietnam War. I know you go left. Textbook victim mentality. Or maybe she set the them up. No, I think she probably set them up because she's been here longer. There traps there too, so yeah, because Jingles hasn't been here that long. Not long enough. I've spent my life studying what makes men like Benjamin kill, but there's only so much that you can learn from a caged animal. I needed to study the apex predator in the wild. That's crazy. You're nothing more than a killer just like him. I'm a scientist. You're my lab rat. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Holy shit.
What the fuck? Oh shit! She's gonna free him! Nice. That was the last thing she did before dying, because she looks like she's about to die. I'm gonna go get help. What is it? Does she want him to finish her off? Oh my god. I can't. Please. Holy shit. Wow, man. He's doing a great job. I don't know his actor's name, but I mean, he, he obviously was amazing last season, but he's great this season, too. Yeah, you're going to need the knife. Yeah, it's it's bad. Brock! Montana! Montana! How the did you get up here? God, please just get me down from here, please! Don't worry. It won't give. What should I do? Go get something sharp, something to cut this down. I shouldn't leave you. No, it's fine to just go. You're so brave. <laughs> what are you making, Benji? Oh, wow. For me? It's just something to watch over you. Oh, interesting. They had like a bit of a relationship going on. Not a romantic one. I mean, like a, you know, <laughs> they had a connection. It's true love. Aww, looks like the two freaks found each other. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so cute. Oh, those are the people that were, they got killed in the first episode of the beginning. Those are the ones that got killed. I hate them so much. They don't deserve to be here with you. <clears throat> But what? I don't get what people do. Like I've seen so many people. I don't. I never seen it in real life, but in movies, like you could just Are fucking. You my bear, Benji. <laughs> I do anything to protect you. You could just soak it in water. Get a get a towel. Why are you licking the other person's blood? You little girl are slippery as a handful of water. Oh shit! Really shouldn't have crashed this party, man. <laughs> What the hell is going to happen there? I don't know. All while Rita's watching, fake Rita. I'll call her fake Rita from now on. <laughs> I can't fire a legend in the goddamn flesh! <laughs> you don't want to do this. Oh, but I do. Your reputation is solid. Set in stone. I like this music. I'm still trying to build something here. <laughs> oh, <my>. shit. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> What is she about to do? I don't oh. know who the hell you are, but you sure as shit ain't me to. Damn. <laughs> we got so many fights going on right now. I like how like, there's so many different characters that have completely different motivations. Dude, I love this music, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> How the hell is he not dead? All right! Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he loves doing things through the mouth. I've noticed, or like out the mouth. You know what I mean? He killed that one girl like that. <laughs> now she got to kill Brooke herself. Damn. Oh. He does come back to the hotel a couple uh, 20, 30 years later as a ghost. Only on Devil's Night. Oh, shit. So, yeah, he came back here. I mean, obviously because of fake Rita, but it was also for her. Like, I, I always thought it was to kill her, but it seems it's not to kill her. It's because he, he has it's a connection to her. You poor man. You never had a chance. Look, it wasn't me. I didn't hurt you. Ow! 
He did try to kill her the first time, which is interesting. So even though they had that connection, it didn't matter. It wasn't me. Of course it was. It wasn't you. Does he actually think it wasn't him? Your memory can't be trusted. We saw it. It definitely was him. You saw me. You told him. I was the killer. You've forgotten everything, haven't you? Like you forgot your promise. You told me you'd stop them. You were going to protect me, but you what were too What the hell? Weak. You didn't do a thing. Okay, who am I now? <clears throat> you guys! <laughs> it is 8.30. Our curfew is 8 p.m. So she wanted them to be killed? So I made it stop. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Wait, are we serious? She did it the whole time? Oh. You finally protected me when you took the fall. Holy shit. Wait, really? And she cut off her own fucking ear? So those flashbacks, they were just false flashbacks then. Oh my god. And he didn't even, he didn't even, what the fuck? What happened in 1970, it was me. You evil motherfucker, what? what? Oh, it was me. But he believes it was him because he's been through so much, I guess like testing and stuff, I don't know. Do you see now? Benji, we've come full circle. What the fuck? <laughs> you told the world that I was the killer, you had me locked away in that asylum. Oh my god. If you're told you're a killer, you'll believe it yourself. You know, that, that's an interesting study, the fake Redican study, you know? <laughs> the fact that he was a killer even though he wasn't one before, he became one because he was Don't told he was worry. one. Oh, oh yo. <laughs> Oh shit! Are you kidding me? You were just a guy who was in the wrong place at the right time. Are you kidding me? Our main slasher is dead? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Well, I, I guess she technically is the main one now, but like, I don't... I guess they're gonna play it off as everything's fine now, right? Well, except for her, Montana's... I don't know. I... I... I don't know. I think Margaret's in trouble. I gotta go back for her. <laughs> Take Chad. He knows where a car is. I'll meet you guys there. Okay. She does not want to go with Chet. Interesting thing to do halfway through the season. I like it though. It's I like twists like this. I was obviously suspicious of this character, but I didn't know why. Oh, whoa, whoa. Please don't shoot Trevor. Shit. Holy shit, you did it. You wow. actually killed him. Right after he killed you. What? No, no! Fuck you! I haven't done that in 14 years. Fuck you! <laughs> no! That hurts. Trevor was the best. You have got to be shitting me. They always take away the best ones, you know? <laughs> and she took away the ear. I am angry. What the fuck? Is he a ghost now? He must be a ghost because he's dead. So. <laughs> so yeah, I know I got this mistake in here. Obviously, he's not dead. I just completely glanced over that quick scene where they showed his body not being in the cabin anymore. That was never me. Huh. Jingles. He was just here. We have to go. Damn. Who did that? Oh, come on. The one car they had to get out of here. Jingles was attacking me. Oh my god. Obviously, they're gonna believe her, but yeah, but now Jingles is a ghost. I'm sure the Night Stalker will become a ghost too. I guess these, is it because these grounds have had so much murder happen? What the fuck? And I guess 
when you have that happen, there, people are more likely to become ghosts there. I don't I know in this universe that is like, that's maybe? Holy shit, what the hell? Is this even related to the, is he? What? What the fuck? Did he just revive himself? <laughs> I don't even think he's a ghost. I think he literally just revived himself with the power of Satan somehow. I Okay, all right. Well, shit, this is a really weird season, but I kind of like it a lot. Um, obviously, the aesthetics is one thing, but I, I think the story is actually pretty intriguing. There's a lot of twists here, but it feels pretty standard for American Horror Story season. Otherwise, I feel like it's, you know, a lot of funny moments, but also a lot of just batshit crazy moments. I think these show these seasons do best when they're like that, though, like it's 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 entertaining it's fun but like there's also uh has interesting storylines and interesting twists i mean twists are like the main thing in the, in the series which is why i'm not surprised so many of you wanted me to react to this series in the first place I, I like the twist here though with margaret being the killer you know part of me like wasn't crazy about that when they first revealed it but then i was like you know what actually it works i guess we'll see how how it's gonna work in the long term but I don't know, because Jingles is a ghost now. I guess they could still have Jingles killing people. But why would he kill people still? I don't think he's gonna. So is it just gonna be Margaret? But I guess now we have the Night Stalker who's still there. And he's targeting Brooke specifically because that's what Montana wanted. And I don't know what fake Rita's position is in this because she, well, if Jingles isn't killing anymore, who is she studying? I guess she'll move her studying to Margaret? Like, <laughs> that's all I could think of, you know? And that's pretty much all that we have so far. I mean, it's just, it's sad that Ray got killed off last episode because uh, they were kind of building up his character a bit and then he was just, boom, dead. I was expecting a relationship between him and Brooke to brew because they had that one scene in that one in the first episode where they were kind of sitting there talking, but uh, they did not do anything with that. So <laughs> maybe maybe they won't, won't be uh, doing any like relationship related stuff in the show i'm pissed trevor died though i don't know what it was like i don't know if you guys feel the same way sometimes but there's certain like it's either the actor or the character i'm not really sure but there's certain ones that you just like there's a certain amount of charisma to them and their performance and how they act as a character that just is really entertaining to watch and a lot of characters in this show that are like that a lot of actors but like i don't know this new character i don't think a new actor i don't think we've seen in the show before and I was hooked on this character. I was like, oh, he, he's cool. He, he, he's cool. He, he's, I don't want to say relatable necessarily, but like he, he's he's more normal, even though he, like when he first came into the show, he, he didn't seem that, like he was a bit out there, obviously, but he's not like evil, right? Like there wasn't any sense of like bad really in him, at least from what we've seen. So I was kind of like, that's that's kind of a cool character to have. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just... He's dead. That's unfortunate. But I, I gotta find out who the actor is, though, because I actually really like him. I like they, they do a lot of good actors. Xavier's actor is great. Margaret's actor is great. Obviously, you know, you have um, Emma Roberts and uh, Billy Lord in this as well. They're great. But, like, I don't know. I Just really good stuff here. And um, so far, I'm liking the season quite a bit. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out the full cut reaction on my Patreon. Link to it will be in the description. Peace out, everyone.